time before the weekend. And what is this video going to be about? Well, it's something I would have talked about before in the past, but um, something that has now ended, and that is work placement. Because I did a six-month work placement. Now, before anybody goes on, I'm sure they're going to say what, what I will say here and all this and that. They're going to say, why don't you just get out and get a job? It is as simple as that. They're going to say that. They're going to butcher me about it. I get it a lot on Facebook from many, many people. But they never seem to understand. That's what we're getting at. Basically, it was to do with CWP. Community Work Placement. We had to do that for six months. Now, for me, I have no bother that I have to do this. I have no bother that I have to go out there and do some work on a work placement. It doesn't bother me. Right? I will go out there and do it. What did bother me, though was not being able to do not necessarily in terms of i want to do radio but not doing something that i would like to have done on that community work placement which basically would have benefited my skills my skills and that's the thing i hate the most about things like this where you don't get a choice on where to go now they said it had to be somewhere that it benefited the community i understand that I may not have been able to do radio because they won't see it as something benefiting the community. Even though I'm doing it on a community radio station, they won't see that. They won't give me the hours at the radio station anyway, so you would have to do something else. So my idea was, well, in my existing skills, would it not have been fair to say I could have worked in a charity shop? That would have been perfect. I've done that before in the past, and I would have done that. The idea would have been it could have gone onto my CV and been up updated. Whatever I did on this community work placement, I have to put on my CV anyway. But it was the biggest pile of shit I have ever done. And I consider it to be the worst job I've ever done. Now, my boss was Bill Bannantyne. Yes, Duncan's famous brother. But we're not going to mention any more about him. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know about him. He was a very good boss. And that's all you need to know. He was really good at that. And he never made us work, work, work. Although he might have done at the end of... When I was coming to the end of it, obviously, because we moved to a new place. But we never actually went and worked in a particular company. It was more like as if you say you're working for the council. So that was more like what it is. It wasn't really a company. Like... If I was going to a charity shop, I would have been working for, say, Sue Ryder Charity Shop, and that would be the person, people you work for, basically. But we didn't really work for a company, so it's very hard to say when you put it on your CV and say, oh, what did you do for your community workplace? Well, I can tell them what I did, but I can't tell them who I worked for because I didn't really work for anybody. It would probably just say I worked for the council or I put down FinTech because that's the company who it was. And I had a advisor there, and she basically... Um, I didn't get an option of where I wanted to go. I, I started out at community, um, a community centre, which was Glaston Park Community Centre, where basically as I went in my first six weeks, I was as I normally am. I wasn't very talkative, you know, and I never really got on with the people. <coughs> when, I, when I never really got in with the people on there, you know, as my boss said. But as the weeks go on, I basically got into it you know I got used to the people that I worked with and and that and as my boss said you know we can't shut him up now always singing and dancing okay fair enough but it was it was a laugh the people I worked with I got to know some of them and they were a good laugh a lot of them I I really got on well with and they were a laugh and you know before we even left the course I was um basically exchanging Details so that I could keep them as friends, so I would put them onto Facebook and that kind of thing. And the odd few were on my um, mobile phone, so I've got their mobile phone number and I've got them on Facebook. But the point is, I hated it because basically we were doing gardening work and painting work. We were, um, we were basically moving around different sites. You know, we started off basically at the community centre in Gaston Park Community Centre, and we were nearby there doing litter picking sometimes 
we were chopping bushes down we were basically um cleaning up um basically um you know where the paths have got grass on it and what it is it needs you know doing doing basically getting weeds out of um things like that and, and, all, the, and all these bits and pieces we were doing that then we moved along to other sites we would go to like a community center and they needed some a little bit of gardening done but they probably need a lot done inside like painting and things like that and we would do that um we would basically move on to other sites and do exactly the same um so we did go to various sites and it was rewarding in some cases when we did like a community center when we did the one at Saxon Community Centre and we did it and then after they gave us um, basically you put on a spread for us on the last day we were going to be there and then what, what they did they thanked us for the, for the hard work we did because we did the work and they were happy about it I don't mind that but I just didn't really like the work that I did I know a lot of people say um, you have to get on with it and I did I got on with it anyway I didn't really um not turn up for my work placement because I always went when I needed to go so it was never a case of I hate it so much that I'm going to have days off here and there because I can't stand it we always had a day off so we could go to see Tech and do job search but the work placement I just didn't like I wanted I did ask to get changed to go to a charity shop and they wouldn't let me so at the end of the day I carried on but the reason but one of the things that got me about doing something like this is I know they say that you're going to learn new skills right because you may not have done this before because I've never really painted and I've never really done gardening before because I've never had to you know I've always you know at home my mum and dad have always done the gardening so I've never really gone into that situation of going into the garden and doing any of it you know the painting bit um, when we've done or mum and dad's done painting in the past they've done it they've done little bits of painting here and there but i've never really had to do it so i don't know the ins and outs but we never got properly trained so that's the biggest thing we've got to we've got to say we're not professionally trained or we didn't get properly trained on the gardening and the painting job so we can't really say we're going to get work out of it we can't go and apply for this work because they're going to say, well, have you been properly trained on being a painting decorator? Are you properly trained on being a gardener? Are you sure you know your ways around these things? And we can say, well, I know some bits, but I'm not properly trained. I might not be able to tell you, the in I might not be able to tell you everything. So it's not something I can do. We can't do these things because we're not being properly trained. So applying for that work isn't going to be easy because they're going to... It's going to come to bite you when they say, all right, what would you do if you were painting and blah, blah, blah? Would you know what to do? I don't. I don't. See? So it's, it's a tough one. Our, we, when we were going to our last site, basically, which was a small football ground in Peterborough, a non-league football round basically we were doing more work because what what it was our boss didn't want the people who worked there particularly the groundsmen working there doing a lot of work so he always made us do more work so we got less dinner than what we used to have sometimes we would have a second break because it was always well they because it was always going to be you having um, you're not going to have a second break because we're going to go home earlier in fact I can tell you basically what our boss gave us in terms of breaks and dinners I won't mention it on here because it's not needed I'll give it out to you if if you want to know about it because I can explain that because we don't really need to show it on here I know that T-Tech or Bill might not be watching this video and, and things and they might not know about it but it's not needed i mean we don't want to get him into trouble surely because he used to say things don't go tell him detail but anyway I, I can explain if if you ask but basically um i'm just saying that basically the work placement as far as i'm concerned was a load of rubbish because we didn't really get to go where we wanted to go it would have been perfect to say 
you know the skills you've got before you can use them and then go to a workplace and lie like in a charity shop but we couldn't sadly so we had to go where they sent us and the bit that I enjoyed was we had a great boss we had some great people who worked there but I just didn't like the work we were doing basically it wasn't it's not my idea of work you know I've worked in many places before in the past but I've never really hated the job what I've done in the past I've never really hated you know even if they're not the greatest jobs in the world I've enjoyed them and I've gone to them and I've come home and said it's not the greatest job in the world but I don't mind doing it this was just work I really did hate though and I really don't want to do it again so if I have to do a work placement again I just hope I don't get sent on one of these where it's a sort of black kind of environment again so I just thought I'd share that with you basically that most people just say you've got to get on with it and they reckon that basically now that it's finished that the experience can help the skills would lead into finding maybe a job in that field but it can't as I said because we don't we don't we are not professionally trained or anything like that you know we don't have the the um properly skilled things because I'm gonna finish off with this basically when we when we start all the boss says is something like how good are you with lots of tears and things like that are you comfortable using the tools that's all it simply is have you used a pickaxe before and things like that it's a case of you say yes or no that's all you do if you're not comfortable then somebody might have to show you a little bit other than that they don't really sit down and show you the proper things and ways of doing things and if you're struggling a little bit while you're doing it they might say hold it like this do it like this and then you and then you do it and then you try and do it like that and hope that it do you know what I mean so there you go anyway I'll leave it there because this is going to be one of the longest videos I've ever done in terms of talking but Keep watching my videos because I have more to do and bye for now.